Just quickly, let's talk about cooling rate during quenching and the four methods that we talk about in the syllabus. So, what is cooling first up? I have got something at, let's pick a temperature 850 degrees, assume it's a steel that's in the fully austenitized condition, and I need to cool it with something that's at 20 degrees all the way away from this. What controls cooling rate is what's between the hot metal and ambient temperature. If I have got a, the slowest cooling rate is annealing. Heat it up to 850 degrees, turn off the furnace, walk away. The furnace walls are 840 degrees. They've got insulation in them. Out here there's 20 degrees centigrade. The heat goes through there and just slowly tiptoes through there and then it sort of wafts away out of the wall of the furnace. It takes days to cool down, probably two or three days, four days, depending on the size of the object. So, the slowest cooling is warm air. Because obviously you can't cool down 850 degrees if you're 840 degrees in here, can you? So it doesn't cool down too quickly. If I cool it down in still air, let's keep that 850 degrees going all the way down. If I cool it in still air, so the 20 degrees is now here, the heat just wafts away and it takes a little bit of time but the heat disappears. Instead of a day, it might take one hour to cool down, depending on the section. So that's in air. Forced air is a little bit quicker because the heat gets taken away quickly. But now let's talk liquid quenches. We talk an oil quench. If I was to drop 850 degrees into oil, it will generate an awfully huge amount of fume and also a large amount of smoke and potentially flame. So, this is now oil. I get, when I drop the 850 degrees in oil, I get a large layer of smoke, fume, I'll put in flame. Essentially, the oil turns into gas where it touches the 850 degrees and it makes a massive amount of gas so the layer is thick. The thicker the gaseous layer, the slower it takes to cool. So that is going to be a lot quicker than air because air's got a lot bigger of a gaseous layer than oil. So oil cooling is quicker than air quenching. If we look at water quench, when I heat up water to 850 degrees, I get steam. But I don't get as much steam as I do smoke and fumes from putting oil in. So the layer is thinner. Because the layer is thinner, let me just put it in here and I'll call it steam. See? Um, that gaseous layer is smaller than it is oil. So water quenching is quicker than oil quenching, quenching because the gas is, gaseous layer is thinner. The last one we talk about is brine, which is salt water. Without going too much into the mechanism, the salt destroys the formation of steam in a uniform way and it makes it discontinuous. So it pulses and it shakes around and the end result is the layer of steam is thinner. Because it's thinner, brine quenching is quicker than water quenching. Oil quenching, air quenching, furnace cooling. That's how cooling rate actually happens. There's um, what you need to know for the HSC.